Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our first tweaks video for iOS 13. Yes, if you guys haven't heard, there is an iOS 13 jailbreak out and I'm sure you guys are looking for things to install. Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the top essential things to install right after jailbreaking. But if you guys have yet to jailbreak, definitely check out our jailbreak tutorial. It's linked down below. Also, down there, you will find a list of all of the tweaks and all of the sources that we're gonna go over in this video so you guys can get on your way to installing them. Very lastly, again, since this is the first jailbreak on iOS 13, a lot of the tweaks need to be updated. And if you guys wanna know which ones currently work, there is a community-based compatibility list. Again, we'll link that down below too, so you guys can install even more tweaks than the ones that we're gonna talk about in this video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get directly into things. Whoa, got a lot going on there. Well, as you guys can see, Zen HTML, as well as our Fluid widget, that works perfectly fine. But we'll go ahead and get into some useful tweaks to start this video off right. Let me go ahead and turn my brightness down here just a bit. As you guys can see, I'm on iOS 13.1.2. On my X just a second ago, I was on 13.2. Pretty much as long as your device is supported, it will work no matter what version of iOS 13 you're on. Anyway, to start this video off, swipe for more works great to install and quickly queue up multiple tweaks at once. Flame is also working to export as well as import tweaks. Again, if you go to sources and now when you go to edit add right here, you can actually import multiple sources all at once. So you guys, that takes some hassle off of getting the sources installed correctly. Anyway, moving on, still in Cydia, however, Tweak Count 2 works perfectly fine to show that I have 19 packages installed. We also have fluid tabs where we can just quickly swipe right here at the bottom to go between tabs on Cydia and any tabbed application, basically. Also, if you guys find a tweak that you really like, we have Wishdia to basically pin it in a wish list right within Cydia. And then if you guys are gonna go ahead and uh, modify some of your tweak preferences, well, a really quick way to organize your settings app is with Shuffle. It puts all of your tweaks into one category right at the top of the settings app. Super cool. Very lastly, once you guys have some tweaks installed, I'm sure you guys want a great way to quickly respring or enter safe mode, and that's done with Power App. Again, all of these tweaks are entirely free. And most of these are actually on Big Boss or Dynastic, which come pre-installed when you jailbreak. PackIX is another good source, but uh, again, all of it is listed down below in this video's description. Well, another great one is Small Surrey. That worked right out of the box on iOS 13, so great one there. Still, I don't know why this is a thing, but Real CC will permanently disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so if I toggle them off in the control center, as you guys can see, they're actually off, not just disabled or disconnected. We also have Floating Dock, again, another free tweak that brings the iPad-style dock to the iPhone. Again, we have all of our recently used applications right there on the right. You can add more icons to the dock if you want to as well. So a couple tweaks on the iPhone 10. We have Hide Bar X to get rid of the home bar here at the bottom. And then we also have Auto Unlock X. Once your face is recognized by Face ID, it will take you directly to the home screen or just open up your phone automatically without you having to swipe up. Also, it is great. Files is working perfectly fine on iOS 13, so you guys can explore the iOS file system them. And again, like I said at the start of this video, Fluid Widget as well as Zen HTML is working perfectly fine on iOS 13. Anyhow guys, that is my list of essential tweaks to install right after jailbreaking on iOS 13. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will definitely be more tweak videos to come. Again, if you guys have yet to jailbreak, definitely check out our jailbreak tutorial. If you guys missed a tweak that we talked about in today's video, it's linked down below as well. And very lastly, if you're looking for even more tweaks to install, check out the community-based compatibility list. Again, all in this video's description. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope to be back real soon with another top tweaks list, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.